So welcome once, once again to our lesson video. So we will be learning more about how to solve percentage problems, um, especially markup problems. So let us first understand the definition of the words written here. So we have markup, markup rate, cost, and the selling price. When we say markup, that is the increase in the price of an item or product. So, kung negosyante ka or reseller ka, no, um, mo na siya'y silbing patong ni mo sa imuhang tinda para na akay ginan siya. So, mo na siya'y bot sa bot sa markup. We can solve for the markup using the formula C times MR or cost multiplied by the markup rate. Nya, unsa man ang markup rate so, ang markup rate, money ang percent to be added to the cost or price of the item. So, pila ka porsyento ang imong gi patong sa imong hang produkto or sa, sa presyo sa imong produkto or item nga itinda. No? So, okay, so, how do we solve for the markup rate? So, you just divide the markup by the cost, then multiply by 100%. Okay, then next word is cost. So, when we say cost, that's the original price of the item or the product. So, ang presyo sa imong pagpalit, mo na siya ang cost. Okay, we can solve for the cost using the formula C is equal to M over or divided by MR. So, markup divided by the MR. Okay, and the last one, selling price. So, when we say selling price, that's the amount of the item after you added the markup to the original cost of the item. So, imo na hindi patungan ang presyo or cost sa imong pagpalit niya. Mauna na ang imo ang presyo pag baligya. So, sa to pa selling price is ang presyo sa imo ang pag baligya. So, if you notice, there are two formulas here, no, to solve for the selling price. So, magdepende ni siya unsay given sa problem, o unsay mas dali, or mas paspas, no, na makuha ni mo ang correct answer. Okay, so, the first formula is to add the cost and the markup. Of course, original price plus the markup, ang imuhang tubo. So, you will get the selling price. Or, you can multiply the cost by 100% plus MR or the markup rate. So, I have here an example. So, panditan, you bought um, okay, a t-shirt for 200 pesos each from the wholesaler. No? So, 200 pesos ang kada t-shirt. So, you plan to have Okay, um, a gain of 50 pesos. So, ganahan kay mong ginan siya 50 pesos. So, that will be your markup. No? Muna imo ipuno sa mong original price. So, 50 pesos is 25% of 200. Okay, so 25% is the markup rate. So, when you sell the product or the t-shirt, so you will sell it for 250 because you already added the 25% markup which is 50 to the original cost of the t-shirt which is 200 okay so i hope um claro na na siya no okay so karun mo try ta og solve og problem involving mark up okay so Atong basahon sa problem. No? Blake bought a jacket for 350 pesos and sold it with a markup rate of 10%. What is the markup? So, kung solve ganit a problem, it's very important na nakasabot ta sa ato ang gibasa, no? So, so that we can identify what are given and what is needed or asked in the problem. So, in this case, our given are the following. So, we have 350 pesos and 10%. So, unsa man 350? So, 350 is the cost of the jacket, right? Or the original price. So, this is our C. 
So our C is or cost is 350. So muna pagpalit sa jacket. And then we have 10%. So na siya percent symbol also meaning this is the rate. No? So mauni ang ato ang markup rate. So the MR is 10%. Okay, what is asked in the problem? So, naingon siya, what is the markup? So, ang ato ang kinahanglan isolve is the markup or the M. No? So, ang sa ganito yung formula sa markup? So, markup is equal to cost multiplied by the multiplied by the markup rate. Okay, so, naabatay cost diri? Okay, yes, na ano, it's given. Naabatay markup rate? So, naagihapon. No? So, it will be easy for us to solve the problem kay naarata na natong kinahanglan. No? So, sige. Let's solve it using the formula M is equal to C times MR. So, ang ato ang C is 350 pesos. So, ato na multiply sa 10%. Okay. But, we have to change this into decimal. No? Okay, so, so na siya pag change. So, you move the decimal point to the left. Two places. So, one, two. So, may mo na na siyang 350 times point one or point ten, No? Okay. So, pila man ng 350 okay, times point ten. So, ato i-multiply. So, zero, zero, zero. Okay, 0, 5, then 3. Okay, then add 0, 0, 5, 3. Then we have two decimal places, so we will move the decimal point to the left two places. So the answer is, okay, 35 pesos. So this is our markup. So ang 10% of 350 di ay is 35. So, mauna siya imong ginansya or tubo sa imong hang jacket nga ibaligya. Okay? So, I hope you understand, no? Na may nasamtan. Then, try to ask help from your brothers or sister or your parents, no? To give you problems involving markup. So, you can practice at home. Okay? Thank you for watching